I had to level up, level up, no. I had to level up, I had to level up. What's up, creators? Today I wanted to show you three super cool extreme music video effects. So cool. I shot a couple shots with my uh, tripod on my 1DX. Um, got a little color grade and a little edit here together. Uh, it's about nine seconds long. So I'm going to dive right in and show you guys some effects that I think are super dope for when you're shooting on a tripod. Let's mute out this first top clip right here. And these clips right here is the bottom. And don't mind my focus because I did not get the focus on point when I shot this. So let's highlight all these clips first of all, and let's nest them. That will make all those cut up clips into one solid clip. Now that we have a solid clip, I wanna go ahead and drop some camera shake on there. So we're gonna right click, replace with After Effects Composition. And you have to have After Effects to do this specific effect. Now that we got it open, let's uh, save this as music video tutorial on tripod for the sake of this tutorial. And I already have a After Effects folder, so let's hit save. Cool, now that we have this open, we're gonna add some wiggle to this. Uh, we got a little black right here, and that's because I have movie bars on it in um, Premiere like this so don't worry about that your clip if you didn't have movie bars or anything it should just be a solid uh full frame picture so let's go back here let's click on to this arrow make sure this is highlighted transform and let's do position now make sure that position is highlighted and you want to go to the top menu to animation and you want to select add expression now that we have this you want to go here where it says transform dot position and you want to type wiggle then you're gonna add parentheses and you're gonna do two numbers here. So the first number is gonna be the shakes per second. I'm gonna go ahead and rock with like, let's do 400. Let's have that thing shaking. And then you wanna put a comma space and you wanna do the amount of pixel movements. I'm gonna go ahead and do like 20. And then you wanna go ahead and close that out with another parentheses. Then click out of it and now we should have our shakes. And it's not gonna run smooth in here, but it, whatever you do into um, After Effects, if you replace the clip in Premiere, if you go back, it'll be done already. Okay, so I wasn't shaking that much, so I went back over to After Effects and I changed it up to 5,000 comma 100. And the reason for this, I think, is because I'm shooting in 4K. I shot this in 4K, so you gotta add on a stronger uh, shake. Okay, so here if you look, you see it's going crazy and it's like all over the place. And you can see you got some black outlines around the sides. So what you wanna do is you wanna scale that up so you don't see any black. So let's go f to a frame where there's a lot of black showing and I will say, about right here. Now let's scale this up. I'm gonna say right there and let's do uh, Command S or save. And let's go back over here. Now let's chop our movie bars back over this. And we're gonna render it out real quick. All right, so as you see, we got a lot of shakes going on. It looks really cool. All right, so let's bring in these clips again and let's look at it like this. All right, so there's not enough going on. This one's pretty still, and this one's shaking all over the place. So let's add some here. So on this one, I'm just gonna add the shakes in where the kicks come in. So let's look for that first kick. There it is. Right there. So let's make a cut. And let's zoom in. Yeah, we'll probably cut it off right here. So let's highlight these two clips. Let's nest this together. And let's save this. So our numbers were 5,100. All right, let's um, replace this one in After Effects. Cool, we're gonna do the same thing. Down transform, position, animation, add expression, wiggle, 5,100. Close that out, click out of it. Save. So it's gonna shake right on that kick and then it's gonna come back into regular. But I'm gonna do that on all the kicks throughout. And as you can see right here, they're showing some black, so we gotta go back and scale that up. Scale. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I think we're good right here. Save that. Save that. The kick is right here, but it sounds like it's still still like shaking and going in right here. So I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm gonna send this one over to After Effects as well. Same thing here, transform, position, 
animation, add expression, wiggle, 5,000, 100, close it out, boom. Let's go to where we can see how far the black is, scale it up a little bit, and save. Oh, right there with that, whoo, it does a nice kick. So that's gonna be dope. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna speed up these, but like I said, I'm gonna do it on all the kicks. All right, cool. So now I'm speeded up to where we're all done. I did it all the kicks. Boom, boom. All right, cool, let's render this out. All right, cool. So now that we got that rendered out, it looks pretty good to me. I want to show you guys another cool effect. It's called Echo. So if you want to go over to your effects panel, let's find Echo. Cool, there's the effect. Now we want to find the spot so we want to put it at. So kind of where those, uh, those level ups, where that part drags out, I think I want to throw those Echoes on there. So boom, I'm going to nest these clips together because that's where the love where that part starts so let's drag echo on there all right cool and i want to do number of echoes two and we're going to do 0.5 on the decay so it's not too intense Actually, we can even go to 0.3. We're gonna go ahead and roll with, um, I'm gonna roll with screen. You know what, let's do five, how about that? This is getting wild. And you know what, I'm gonna actually take these two top clips, drag it up. I'm gonna do options and drag that out to make a duplicate. Let's take the echo off of that one keep this one and let's scale this one up to 125 and let's throw a 50% um, opacity and let's shift it to the left a little bit let's get crazy with it So he comes in again right here with the level up. So let's go back to that command C. Let's take that echo and off of that first effect and let's come to this clip and paste it on there. So it's on that one. So it ends right there. Let's cut here, let's cut here. And let's add it to this bottom clip as well. Actually cut here, delete that, drag that. So it goes all the way up until the next clip comes in that no. So that up part right here, let's drag it and I mean, let's highlight that and paste it on there as well. So right there, I have the song fade out like that. Let's go ahead and put it on there too. Put a cross dissolve on there so it fades in smooth. Yeah, that's pretty dope. All right, cool. Now let's render that. All right, so now that we've rendered that out, this is what we're with. All right, so that's looking pretty damn dope. All right, so now that we have those two effects done, we're gonna move on to the third effect, and that's kind of like a punch in. So on the tempo, it goes one, two, three, four. All right, so on those one, two, threes, and fours on the beat, we're actually gonna punch the clip in and make a square smaller each time. So boom, right there. So where the kick is, we're gonna go ahead and double click, and we're gonna scale this down to 80. And let's take out the clip behind it. So one, two, so two right there at the end of that clip, two, three right there at the clap. 
and then another one on the kick. So, and this one's going to come in. We're going to go to 60 on this one. And then on this one, we're going to drop down to 40. So, in, 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 and then drop it back in. So, let's go back over here to the beginning. So, it was like, I had, I had, so, first one. And it comes in again. Let's cut it there. And right there where he says to. So I had, and then let's drop this one into 80. And let's bring it back a little bit. I actually cut that, bring that back. No, you know what? Let's cut it all the way off and drop it like that. All right, cool. So there's those box ends right there. And at the beginning, we got our camera shake and we got our echo going right there. So I think those are three extremely dope effects that you should know and use in your next music video edit. If you like this, slap the like button and subscribe if you're new here. And if you want more tutorials like this, music video effects, music video color grading, all of the above, then go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know how you like this and what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped and I'll see you next video. Peace.